Remember the good old days when you used to get home from school, turn on the TV, and watch everything on Cartoon Network? Well, rejoice because now, yes right now, we have a Cartoon Network game that has all of your favorite characters in it. I mean, you got Wee Bear Bears, the Powerpuff Girls, Ben 10, everyone's favorite, Adventure Time, and a bunch of other characters that you'd love. I'm a bit old school though, so it'd be nice if they add like a throwback pack later on to bring back some of the classic shows. On top of that, each stage or world is themed after a specific concept from one of the many shows featured in a game. For example, World 4 has a futuristic technological theme similar to Ben 10 or how World 3 is themed after the show Uncle Grandpa. I'm a bit surprised that I didn't notice this game before, but it's actually pretty friggin' good. So let me give you a rundown on what Cartoon Network Arena really is about and hope you're excited. So first up, I completely forgot to mention that it's a real-time mobile tower defense strategy game. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty hard to define what this genre is, but you basically have two towers on both ends of the map and your goal is to destroy the opponent's tower with your own card units. So here, you play on a field that looks a bit similar to something from Plants vs Zombies. You have a total of five lanes, however, you can only place your active units in the top, middle, and bottom lanes. The other two lanes in between those are for your building units, like cannons or laser turrets. Pretty much the crappy cars that you won't ever use. Hey, 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 don't cry, Grub. I was only kidding, because these building units are actually pretty useful for your strategy when you reach the latest stages. And then there are the tiles on the maps, and these play a very important role during the match. Hey, don't give me that look, they really are important. Why? Well, because if both players unfortunately don't destroy a tower, or both players destroy the same amount of towers, then the number of tiles that you own will determine who actually wins the match. And because of how the game actually plays out, this happens way more often than not. Now, when you're battling, everything is familiar and incredibly easy to understand. You have your range units, your melee units, heroes, etc. A unique feature that the game adds is that once you destroy a tower, your units will not switch over and attack a different tower. They will, however, go into a portal and disappear, giving you some mana that you can use immediately. It becomes really useful when you have a tower that spawns units constantly and they walk into the portal giving you all of those juicy, juicy mana points. It's a good strategy during the battle when you're low on mana and you just need a little bit extra to knock down the next tower. Outside of the main 1v1 matches where you can earn card packs, you also have the arena and this mode is actually pretty dang fun to play. Here, the map, well, the tiles where you can actually spawn units, those change every day, so it's always a new strategy that you need to figure out, keeping the gameplay new and fresh. Winning here doesn't net you any new card packs though, but instead you get trophies to secure a ton of other goodies like emotes, gold, rare units, and just a ton of other stuff. It's so good that Grizzly can't wait to compete. Now, if you're looking for a real challenge, then you need to try out the win card or gold rush mode to really test your skills. Lemon grab, why so salty? Ah, you must think that you don't earn anything amazing, huh? Well, with Gold Rush, you can actually earn more gold, and in Win Card, you actually have the chance to steal your opponent's card. Like, that is crazy. So, if you join, just know that you'll be rewarded greatly if your skills are up to par with the challenge. Man, the nostalgia is strong with this game, giving people like me a chance to relive the glory days of those awesome, awesome cartoons. You have a lot of characters to select from the many shows, you have a bunch of different modes to try, you have daily quests to complete, just a ton of things to do. The game keeps you busy, but it's still super fun to do everything. The game has been out for a few months, and there's still a lot of players on there, so it's never too late to join in on the fun. I'm having a blast, and fans of the genre will surely love it too. So just give Cartoon Network Arena a try, and let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Until next time, see ya.